Right, back out on a dig. Um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be out. I'm out a bit late today, uh, so maybe two or three hours at tops. Uh, so, yeah, let's get cracking and see what we can find. Right, first find at the a little miniature cork top bottle. Plain, but it's a start. Right, little sauce bottles popped out. Uh, very early one, sheer lip. Uh, no special. Right, I've uh, come across a cool little find. Cork top, little miniature bottle. I'm hoping it hasn't got no cracks in it because I will take this home. Um, I can't read what's on the label. It says Summer and Sons. I think it says on the side embossed E Wolf and Son let me give that a little clean yeah E Wolf and Son with two F's London so that's a keeper if you ask me right we have a, a Sloan's liniment uh, made in USA Cork's still in it. Let's get it out live if I can. It's pretty stuck in there. Uh, let me see if I can get it out. It seems to be a biggish one. It's the biggest bottle. Probably a wine bottle or something. Let's see if I can wobble it free. It's really stuck. Ah, here we go. We've got it. There we go. Oh, well, I was right. It's a wine bottle. Early. Unfortunately, it's a plain one. But well, what can I say? I got a little bit excited then. It's a little bit of a heartbreaker, that one. Right, two bottles have just fallen out of the roof of this hole. Uh, I'm wondering if there's any more in there, but have a look. This one. An early Dineford's. Dineford Magnesium. Magnesia. This one, let's have a look at this one. It's a funny shape, it's not, it looks to be plain though, I think, yep. Yeah. It's a plain one, but nevertheless it's a, it's a nice shape. The neck looks a little bit wonky on it, at the top. Right, I've come across an early little miniature, unfortunately plain. Um, little cork top. Nice little early bovril that's just fallen out. Label's pretty good on it, to say it's been in ground a long time. Uh, you can only just make out bovril on that label though. Let's give it a wipe. See what sort of amber it is. It's a four ounce. Tall neck. Nice. Right, we have a, a bottle in wall here. I'm going to pull it out, see what it is. Come on, be old, don't be broke. Oh, hello. Oh, brilliant. We've got a whiskey. Absolutely fantastic. We've got a whiskey. Buzzing. I am buzzing. Wilkin, J. Wilkin, uh, J. W. Atkinson. New in. Dewsbury Road. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. I am buzzing with that. 
Well, I'm only out for a short space of time, but that has made it worthwhile for me, that has. Well, another heartbreaker, uh, Gail Lister and Co. Leeds, early bottle, gutted. Right, uh, an early, uh, I think they call them vials, has just popped out, caught top, uh, plain, but a lot of little bubbles in them, in it. A lot of little bubbles. HP Galloway's has just popped out. Yep, HP Galloway Limited Chemists, London, SE17. Right, the first interesting whole bottle has come out. Um, seems to be intact. Uh, let's give it a wipe. What we got here? What we got here is the Leeds Bottling Co Limited. So yeah, that's not a bad find. Right, another interesting find. Uh, I'm presuming it's copper. A little copper ashtray. All intact. Well, uh, I've come across a, a triangle shape, big old jar. Uh, all intact. Right, I've come across a little med bottle, a little cork top. Um, it says Reynolds and Branson Limited, Leeds. Um, if you look, it's got a little bit of a, a lump happening there, going down, just there. Um, I might take that home, just with it saying Leeds. A lovely shaped bottle's just popped out. Nice neck on that, nice design. Unfortunately, it's plain, so I'll leave it behind for someone else. Oh my god, people! I am so buzzing. It went in like that, and I just saw the bottom of it, and I just thought, oh, it's only one of them. You know, one of them dripping pots. Pulled it out and look at that. I am absolutely buzzing. Unfortunately, it has got a slight crack going up there. But do you know what? I ain't bothered. I'm taking that home. That is a nice ginger beer. Buzzing. 1914. Now I've just pulled this out of the wall. Uh, it looks like it had some, maybe some blue in it. You can see it traces it in there, traces of it. Uh, but it is an aqua green colour. An early bottle. Pretty nice. Right, the sauce bottle's popped out. Lipton's. I must say I've never really seen one before. The Lipton's, I'm guessing it is a sauce of some sort. Right, the cup's popped out, uh, chipped on top, it's got a nice little drawing on it. Oh guys, oh guys, 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 
I think I've just come across my second ginger beer. Whoa, and I've just been nearly, nearly um, crushed. But I am so excited. A couple more bottles popped out there, but this, Jesus, this it looks like another ginger beer. Oh, I am proper buzzing. Oh my God, absolutely fantastic. Buzzing, I am so happy. Do you know what? I wasn't even going to come out today. I was being a bit lazy this morning. I'm thinking, have I had to, I oh, haven't had to. And I'm really glad that I've come out today because look at that. Right, the Victorian bottles was popped out. It says from Horners. Uh, I'll probably take that one home as well. But God, I'm still checking, you know. Whew, I'm proper excited still over at Ginger Beers. <laughs> right, I've just come across a, a nice little stopper, little bottle stopper. Right, guys. Um, I'm chuffed to bits with Dig today. I haven't been out that long, to be honest. Um, and I've come across not one ginger beer, but two. Uh, my first ever ginger beers that I've dug. So I'm, I'm really happy today. Um, I found um, a nice whiskey flask as well, which will go in my collection. And a few other items that I'm gonna take home. So yeah, I'm gonna say it's been a successful dig today. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. Even though I wasn't even gonna come out today, to be honest, I was gonna chill at home with family, uh, but I kind of dragged myself out really, uh, but I'm glad that I did, because uh, it's been really good. So until next time, I'm gonna say peace out.